Hey guys, um, so I was preparing for my trades for the FOMC news coming up at 2am and then I thought since I'm doing my own analysis why not just record it now so that you guys get a train to get to see my train of thoughts um, get to see an example of how I plan for my trades okay so just gonna try and do this video I hope it doesn't get too long I hope it doesn't get too big a file and um, if you are trading the news at 2 a.m., I hope it's going to be useful to um, your trades as well. So as we know, at 2 a.m., there's a Fed funds rate, U.S. Fed funds rate expectation for it to go from 1.75 to 2%, so an increase in rates. With an increase in rates, we expect what? We expect the U.S. dollar to get stronger. Okay, uh, while we expect the U.S. dollar to get stronger because of an increase in rates, um, it's also important to know what the statement is going to account accompanying it is going to say. For example, you know, if you click on that, it could say, you know, what's the outlook for the US dollar? Um, they could, no, this is not, uh, could see rate hikes increasing on Wednesday, but what else? Okay, whether they're going to be talking about new dots, new forecasts, you know, whether they're going to be talking about an unhurried pace so whether it's going to um, whether they are likely to say that they have planned for three rate increases now they're going to do four or whether they're going to keep with three so that's going to affect the long and the, the medium and the long term strength of the US dollar okay so that's the news we're looking for um, at 2.30 there'll be a press conference as well so this is going to be a bit of a prep before this news so now looking at the charts, I've got my one, two, three, four, five, six charts set up here um, with my lines all set up already. So looking at the six pairs we have here, the first one I'll focus on, I'll look at the pound US four hour chart. You know, um, the overall downtrend has been moving in a range for the for the very short term. I've got my lines set up already. Please don't focus on my numbers and my lines. You should have your own. Um, looking at it now it's gone up slightly so if we think that the US dollar is going to get stronger it could probably shoot up before coming back down again okay um, that's the anticipated move leading up to 2 a.m. and then after the news coming down so we could actually see a, a good 150 pip move downwards you know but if they actually say that um, the decision is we have increased rates but we have not um, they, they, they have not decided to in, uh, increase the pace of the rates increase so to go from three to four times then we could see it come down and then after that go straight back up again okay but anticipation is we could this is a more likely move um, if they do increase it to be um, more than four times or four times or more we could see break this level so if it breaks this level we have to find another line further okay so if I'm going to look for another line further it would probably be so this is daily chart it would probably be somewhere there um, so if I'm looking at this again it would be another maybe another 150 pips downwards so anticipation is for a swing up Oh, now between now to 2 a.m. and then after that back down again if we see US dollars um, strength so same thing with the Aussie you know, Aussie now is bouncing up um, if we continue because pound is shooting up we think Aussie is going to come up and then we see US dollars strength coming down um, I'll look at the 50 60 pips downwards before it tries to break this support again uh, because it's just going to shoot up and come back down and have to break a support for it to go lower uh, for it to go another 100, 100 pips lower uh, breaking a support as we know is not going to be something that is easy or something that is uh, we expect to happen so because of that Aussie would not be something um, I'll be anticipating or I'll be watching um, during a US dollar um, strength okay but and also even if it's US dollar weakness 
if the Aussie continues going up, it would have from here moved up another 60 pips before it tries to break this resistance towards another resistance upwards of another 100 pips. So again, because of that, I would not be looking at um, Aussie dollar in this news. Too many support and resistance to break. Okay, so I'll minimize that. Uh, yen. Yen looks interesting because it could come down. Well, not really interesting again because given US dollar strength, right, it should go back up. If US dollar strength, it needs to break a resistance at 80 pips before going further, before going to one of the outward levels and again an intermediate there. So it would have to break 80 go past 80 pips before possibly another 150 pips upwards so is that possible yes very likely but uh, very possible but it's probably something up on a back burner for now looking at the US CAD uh, a lot of movements in the US CAD recently is trying to come down so if we have a US dollar strength it would bounce back up into this level um, which we'll be looking at about 100 pips upwards, but that's going to have to reverse directly. Okay, so comparing this between the US Yen, we'll have a look at it later. If we see US dollar weakness, it could come lower this way. And 160 pips, that, given that it's broken um, support right now. No, it's trying to break support right now, so um, something I'll keep on the back burner again. Kiwi, Kiwi, I am. It's sitting right in my area. It's a quite a critical level at seven zero five zero. Um, I would, you know, if we see US dollar weakness, it could shoot up. But going against the overall trend, this is not something I'll be looking for. I'll be looking to see whether it comes back down out of this area downwards into the seven, into the six, seven, six nine zero zero level. So that could be another 100 pips moving downwards there. Okay, and finally we have the euro. You know, if the euro actually shoots up towards, um, if the euro actually shoots up from here, it has to break that resistance before continuing upwards. So break the resistance to another 125. That could be interesting, but again, it's overall against the downtrend. So I would actually be looking for it to go up slightly currently before shooting back down again. Um, that would be a very nice 100, 100 plus pips downwards for us. Okay, so um, what you'll see is this is going to be more likely for the US dollar um, strength scenario. So what I have now is in the US dollar strength scenario, we could see pound. In the US dollar strength scenario, we could see a strong a euro. US dollar strength scenario, we could see a bit of Kiwi. Okay, and in the US dollar weakness scenario, we're more likely to see, we're more likely to be focusing on the US CAD going downwards this way. And in the US dollar, in actually both the, so because I have this, I will probably not be looking at US yen that much. Um, too many resistance and supports to break. So right now, um, when you're looking at your news, straight away you'll be focusing on in a strength scenario, pound and euro, and kiwi in the weakness scenario, the US cat heading downwards. Okay, so just giving you a really quick, this is how I plan, uh, I've reduced from 6 to 4, in, in one, you know, 6 to 4 charts to look at, 1 chart to look at in the weakness scenario, 3 charts to look at in the in a strength scenario. This is how you plan your trades. Um, I, I will be entering a trade before the news. That's how we actually get into trades. Well, how we get into trades before the news, we actually go through that at the Bali camp. Right now, I, um, I always tell you don't enter before the news because it's a lot of anticipation. You just need to know when to get into a trade, when not to get into a trade as well. So not every news you can enter before but there's some news that you can get in just to um, at a small lot size just to try you know take a bit of a risk understand your risk take a bit and try and see what happens okay so trade safe i hope you'll hear good news from you guys tomorrow morning um, 
and please let me know if you have any other questions. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Take care. See ya. Bye.